my god, who's calling me? Seven o'clock in the morning? That's such an early time. Man, I'm used to still sleeping. Uh, it's Bart. What does he want from me? Oh, Pomni, listen, here's the thing. Actually, I've decided I want to kick you out of the digital circus. What? But why? It doesn't matter. I'm giving you until noon to get out of the digital circus. Specifically, you and Princess Lali Lala. If you don't get out... You mean the princess? Well, if you don't get out of the digital circus by noon, I'll come with my army and kick you out myself. Or I'll just liquidate you. Man, but what's the point of all this? What's wrong with me? Because you're in my way. I want to take over your house and live in a digital circus. And by the way, I'd take your job too. So come on. You only have a few hours to pack your bags and leave. Otherwise, I'll be there and you'll be in trouble. God damn it, there's no way that's happening. Well, you can talk to Kane if you want. He'll confirm. All right, bye. I'm out of here. Get ready while I gather an army in case I have to evict you by force. Man, is it really true and Bart wants to kick me out of the digital circus? That's just awful. Okay, man, it's seven. I have until noon. I'll take my watch with me just in case I miss when Bart gets here. I need to be prepared. In fact, the first thing I should do is check with Kane to see what the hell this is all about and why Bart wants to kick me out. Maybe Kane can clear things up because this whole thing seems really weird. Well, hopefully Kane's on site and he can tell me what I can do about it because Bart seems pretty determined. He's got some kind of army or something, or at least he's going to, and I don't really want to be forced out of the digital circus. Guys, please subscribe to the channel so I don't get kicked out of the digital circus. This digital circus is very important to me. All right, well, we've got to go to Kane's. Kane, are you there? Yeah, yeah, so I'm already working. Oh, how early are you working? Yeah, well, lately there's been a lot of work and I don't have time to do it. I have to work at night and during the day. So now I get up at about six hours in the morning and start working. Oh, that's very cool. But I have some problems. That's why I came to you. Uh, what kind of problems, Pomni? Look, horrible Bart wants to kick me out of the digital circus. Hmm, well, what's wrong with that? Just tell him you're not leaving. He said if I don't leave by noon, he'll come with an army and kick me out personally by force. Man, that's terrible, I know. But I can't help you. What do you mean? You're in charge of the digital circus. Yes, I am. But I'm very busy right now. And there's nothing I can do to help you. And considering, if Art kicks you out of the digital circus, he'll just take your place. And I'm fine with that, too. Man, you can't do that. I've worked in the digital circus for so long, and you're ready to kick me out? Well, I'm not kicking you out, Art is, so I don't care. Man, but how do you do that? Hmm, well, you could try to defend yourself against that awful Bart, but I'm not sure you'd be able to... Yeah, but how do I defend myself? Hmm, I don't know. Build some kind of bunker or something. But where? There's not much room to build a well-protected bunker around here. Hmm, well, on the second island, there's a place behind the gym. You can use it. Nothing's being built there yet anyway. I think Bart's gonna tear it down anyway and have to build something new there, so it's fine. You can try to build something there. Maybe you'll be able to defend against Bart's army. All right, well, thanks for that. You're not gonna help me with anything? I've helped you any way I can. I don't know. You could ask someone for help. I don't know who'd be willing to help you with this. Maybe Jax or Princess Luli Lalu. Okay, I see. Well, I'll have to go and ask someone for help then. Man, who am I gonna ask? Jax or Princess Luli Lalu? Or maybe even Rogatha? Which one of them could help me? All right, well, I'll go to Jax first. Jax seems to know something about construction. I hope he's home, because if he's out again, I'll have to call Rogata or Princess. They kind of don't understand anything about construction. All right, well, I'm gonna try Jax. Jax, you in here? Man, nobody's here. Did he really leave? Okay, we'll have to go to Rogata's house. Rogata, are you here? Man, Rogata's not here either. Did Jax and Rogata go on a date? Damn, this is bad timing. I thought I could count on the support of at least one of them. Okay, well, then I'll have to go to my best friend, Princess Lalilala. After all, she's always helped me. I think she'll be able to help me this time, too. It's a pretty dangerous business, though. Princess, are you here? Yes, yes, I'm on my way out. What do you want, Pomni? Why did you come to me so early? Look, I'm in serious trouble. Bart came by this morning and said I have to leave the digital circus or he'll evict me by force. Man, why would he do that? I don't know. He said he wanted to take my place. I talked to Kane, but Kane is basically okay with it. The only thing he told me was that if Bart came with his army, I could try to make myself a fortification on the second island of the digital circus and try to defend myself. That's man. That's just awful. So what are you going to do? Well, apparently I have no choice and we'll have to actually build some sort of bunker or secure base. Oh my god, that sounds quite interesting and actually very scary. I can't believe Bart is here to take your place. Yeah, that's really weird. I don't think he was himself. Maybe someone bewitched him or something. Yeah, that would have to be dealt with. Well, all right, then go ahead and build it. Well, what can I do? Man, how come? You won't help me build at least some kind of secure base? Oh man, well, I've got things to do today. One hour 
later. Well, man, princess, I need your help badly right now, and you're just gonna walk away? So ask Jax or Regatta. No, Jax, no Regatta, no one home, everyone's gone somewhere, like they're afraid of Bart. Uh, okay, fine. Since I'm your best friend, I'll help you. But it's gonna take a long time at home. It's not like we'll have time before noon. Well, at least we can build something. I think we'll make it. Come on, let's go to the second island of Digital Circus and see what territory Kane gave us to build a shelter. Okay, let's go. Okay, I think I turned everything off at home. Digital Circus. Yeah, let's get going. The sooner we start building, the better. Okay, all right, Pomni. Well, we're on the second island of the Digital Circus. And where is the area that Kane gave you to build? It should be behind this gym. I'm not really sure where to build anything here, but okay. So, apparently, it's here. Well, overall, it's not too bad here. There's plenty of space to build something interesting. For example, an iron house, a bunker, or even a turret. Yeah, well, you're right, princess. Then I suggest we start building... Man, yeah, that's a great idea, Pomni. I'll help you in any way I can. Okay, first we need to put a clock somewhere around here to keep track of the time so we can finish the construction on time. Yes, we need to hurry. Well, let's build the base of our house out of iron blocks. I think this material is strong enough to withstand the army Bart will bring. Yes, but I think we'll need to build something else. Maybe a slightly smaller house? That's it, man. Okay, that's about the size of the house we need. Yeah, I think this size should be enough. We need to build it not too big so we don't have to spend a lot of time setting it up. It's a bit big house, don't you think, Pomni? Well, in general, I think it's okay. I mean, we could still put some traps or something in here. That would be good because I doubt that just a protected house would be enough. Enough. After all, we'll still need some way to defend ourselves against Bart's army. Yes, by the way, I wonder who he recruited into his army. Well, overall, it's not too bad here. There's plenty of space to build something interesting. For example, an iron house, a bunker, or even a turret. Yeah, well, you're right, princess. Then I suggest we start building... Man, yeah, that's a great idea, Pomni. I'll help you in any way I can. Okay, first we need to put a clock somewhere around here to keep track of the time so we can finish the construction on time. Yeah. Yes, we need to hurry. Well, let's build the base of our house out of iron blocks. I think this material is strong enough to withstand the army Bart will bring. Yes, but I think we'll need to build something else. Maybe a slightly smaller house? That's it, man. Okay, that's about the size of the house we need. Yeah, I think this size should be enough. We need to build it not too big, so we don't have to spend a lot of time setting it up. It's a bit big house, don't you think, Pomni? Well, in general, I think it's okay. I mean, we could still put some traps or something in here. That would be good, because I doubt that just a protected house would be enough. After all, we'll still need some way to defend ourselves against Bart's army. Yes, by the way, I wonder who he he recruited into his army? What do we do next, Pomni? I have no idea at all. I don't have any ideas for construction. Well, I have a plan. Let's build small walls to contain the monsters. We'll build them out of stone blocks. That's right. The iron is better saved for traps. Let's build a fence. I think it shouldn't be too big, because our territory is small too. Yes, the most important thing is to get it done before Bart's army arrives. Otherwise, it will be a disaster. Yes, I think we'll be done soon. Okay, now we need to put some kind of door, preferably a strong one. I don't have any other ideas besides iron doors. Let's see what we can put here. Okay, great. That's a good door for us. How about we make a ladder up here so that we can shoot? Fire at the army that will attack from our fence. Great idea, princess. We should get a ladder. Man, where is it? Oh, I found it. I think a ladder like this will do the trick. Yeah, from this wall we can shoot at the monsters that attack us. That's pretty good. So, what's next? I have an idea. What about mines? Would be nice to set them up so that some monsters get blown up. Good idea. We just need to find those mines. These are the ones that I think will work. When the monsters start attacking, they'll blow up. Wow, they're pretty powerful. You have to be careful with them. Place them far away from each other so they don't all explode at once. Yes, it's better to walk carefully. If we run into a mine, we'll blow up half the map. Just a couple more minutes, and then we're done. That's it. That's good. I think that's enough. What's next? Should we put dispensers on our house to shoot arrows at the monsters? Great idea. Let's put up dispensers. I think this many will be enough. Now, let's fill them with arrows. Pomni, I'll I'll help you with that. We'll do it faster together. Yes, we don't have much time. We'll need weapons too, but I don't think that will be a problem. Okay, great. Now we need to put the redstone, comparator, and the lever to activate the dispensers. That's going to be tricky, but we'll see. That's it. Now pushing the lever. Yes, it works, but the arrows seem to be going straight into the wall. Are you sure they'll hit the monsters? You may be right, princess, but we don't have time to redo it. We'll have to make do with what we have. Maybe we still have time to change things. No, I don't think there is time. We'd better spend it preparing other traps. 
traps. Okay, what's next? I think we need to make a system that can be used to destroy this house. Why? If Bart's army is too big and rushes in, the dynamite we plant will blow up the house as we run away. That's dangerous. Kane won't be happy if we blow up half the island. Maybe, but I think he'll forgive us. I'm an important actor in the circus, and if we destroy the island a bit, he won't mind. I don't quite agree, but okay. The important thing is that no one gets hurt. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. We won't put enough dynamite to blow up the whole island. The damage will be minimal. Well, I think we've already put enough. Shall we call it a day? No, I think the rule of thumb in this case is that the more dynamite, the better. Eh, okay, fine. But if anything, I didn't help you set up that dynamite. Okay, fine. If anything, I'll tell Kane that I was setting that dynamite by myself and you were trying to talk me out of it. Okay, all right. We're done with that. Now I think we can put the lever in. Can we put it on later? After all, if we accidentally hit that lever, this whole bunker will blow up. Yeah, that's a great idea. Okay, all right. Let's probably make some kind of exit from our shelter. Yeah, but which one? I think we can do something where we can get out of this trap and drive to safety. Yeah, that sure sounds cool, but I don't think it's a good idea. Well, I don't know. Staying in a house filled with dynamite isn't a good idea either. Here, we need to make a railroad to this ship here, and then we'll manage somehow. Yeah, that's a great idea. Let's put redstone blocks so we can leave very quickly on this railroad. Okay, about like this, man. Okay, let's put redstone blocks. Like that, I think that should be enough. Now all that's left is to put these redstone blocks everywhere so that we can get out of this house very quickly. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing it. I think that's it. It's done. Okay, great. That's it. Now we're going to need to put some wagons in here. Okay, we're going to put a trunk here and fill it with trolleys. Because one or two of the wagons, we might accidentally break ourselves or something. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, let's put these trolleys in. Great. Well, I guess we can get ourselves some weapons now. Yeah, that's a great idea. Man, Pomni. I don't think I can do this with you. I think we're done here. Don't you think it's worth setting up this house? No. Why, if we're going to blow it up anyway? Yeah, that makes sense. So what are we going to do next? I think we should get some weapons and basically prepare for Bart's attack. What time is it now? We'll see now. I think it's a tricky time. Man, it's noon already. Damn it, Bart and his monsters will be here any minute. Oh, man, what are you going to do? Well, let's start by finding ourselves a suitable weapon. Okay, fine. What kind? I think we're going to need a laser rifle rifle and ammo. I think that should be enough. Here you go, Pomni. Okay, all right. Maybe we should get some armor. Yeah, that's a great idea. Let's get ourselves some armor to protect ourselves from these monsters. Here you go, Pomni. I think that should be enough. It'll be better than nothing. Yeah, you're right. Well, let's just wait for Bart to show up. Good idea. I'll go see if I can find an escape route. You watch to see if the monsters are here or not. And what? Call me. Yes, of course, princess. Okay, we should look outside the fence to see if Bart has come. Okay, well, Pomni, are you ready? Apparently, you haven't left the digital circus and I'm gonna have to deal with you the hard way. Meet my terrible army. There's gonna be so many minions here and they're all gonna attack you. Oh my god, there are so many of them. Why aren't the mines working? Okay, great, a few worked. But damn it, there's an unbelievable number of them. But the mines at least help destroy some of those awful minions. Man, Bart's spawning more and more of them. Maybe we can get some more mines to blow them up? No, man. Okay, I'll try to activate our arrow trap. Three, two, one, activating. Man, it's not working. None of these arrows are hitting the minions. Okay, well, man, where's Princess Loli Lalu? I don't see her at all. Damn it, there's a lot of minions. They're gonna break through our fence. Oh my god, they're coming inside. Man, where's the princess when we need her? Okay, oh my gosh, there's an unbelievable number of minions. Man, they're coming in. Damn it, they're really coming inside. Okay, well, it looks like I'm gonna have to defend myself without the princess because she just vanished somewhere. All right, well, we've gotta get the trolley. Okay, I think we should let those minions in now and then we can leave on the trolley okay i'm putting the lever on great okay let the minions in light the dynamite and i'm out of here okay wow damn it wow there's nothing left of my house at all oh and apparently those awful minions are gone too no sign of bard either so did we really eliminate everyone well wow that's a big crater we left behind yeah kane's not gonna be too happy actually probably gonna make us rebuild all this stuff but the important thing is i got to stay in the digital circus and now bart won't take my job oh pomni and you're here apparently i missed the whole thing. Yeah, where have you been? Well, I thought it would be a good idea to take the subway through these mountains later. Yes, that's certainly a good idea, but while you went to survey the subway, we were attacked by those minions. What minions? Well, Bart's whole army made of horrible minions. I didn't see them at all. Yeah, you missed the best part, but it's okay. We eliminated all the minions, and Bart as well. We're in no danger now. Wow, that's just great. What are we gonna do now? I don't know. We could celebrate. Let's go buy something nice and have some tea. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great idea. Oh my
my goodness, what a wonderful day. Yes, it's time to ride this wonderful roller coaster. Yeah, we haven't really been on one. I'm really scared, to be honest. Yeah, I'll be right behind you. Wow, Luli Lalu, this is incredible. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Yeah, but it's very sad that we didn't invite anyone else to ride this slide with us. I agree with you, Luli Lalu. I think we should invite someone else to go for a walk with us. It's such a beautiful day. Yes, the weather is really nice today. Yeah, but who can we invite to ride with us? Honestly, I think it would be a good idea to invite SpongeBob and Patrick here. SpongeBob and Patrick? But how do you get to them? I mean, they live in a completely different world. Yes, they live in a different world, but I think we can get to them. So, Lululalu, how can we get to SpongeBob? Honestly, I have an idea, but it's not a sure thing. Okay, tell me. Let's go to Kane first. He might know how to get us there. He'll help us anyway. He's pretty smart. Yeah, it would be really cool if we could teleport to the Bikini Bottom world today. I was not. That would be very interesting, I think. We could meet Mr. Krabs and go into Krasty Krabs and eat some really good burgers there. Yeah, I'm really hungry already, but I don't really feel like going to our restaurant. Yes, our restaurant has really bad burgers. I would love to have a Krabs burger. Yeah, that would be really cool. All right, Luli Lalu. Let's go to Kane's. Yeah, I'm right behind you. Oh my god, this dress is so uncomfortable. Yeah, this dress is really huge. Yeah, I don't even know why I wear it every day. But you look like a queen every day. Oh my god, I am very pleased by these words. Yeah, but you do look really cool. Hmm, I think I see Kane. Yeah, I see him too. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I really hope he can help us. I'm already tuning in to see if we can really get into the world of Bikini Bots today. Oh, hey guys, what brings you guys out here? Honestly, we want to teleport to the Bikini Bot world. Do you have an idea how we can do that? Hmm, to be honest, I have an idea. It's not a given that you'll be able to do it, but it's possible to try. To make a portal to the world of Bikini Bottom, you need to go down to the mine, go down to our digital dungeons, and find their red dust and a staff with which you will make this portal. With the red dust, you have to build a portal, and with the staff, you have to activate it to make it work, and that way you will probably be able to teleport. Is it really safe? Yes, I'm also very interested in how safe it is. Well, to be honest, no, to be honest, I can't give you any guarantees. There's bound to be some dangers in the world of Bikini Bottom. For example, the horrible plankton that is always trying to steal the recipe for Krabs Burger from SpongeBob. Yeah, he's really disgusting. He can do some terrible things to you, so it's best to steer clear of him. Hmm, well, how do we get down to the dungeon? You'll have to think for yourself. Well, there are a lot of dungeon descents in our digital circus. Which one do you need? I don't know. You'll have to find it yourself. Okay, all right, okay, Luli Lalu, let's try to find the dungeon. Hmm, man, there's a portal built in there. Oh my god, Pomni, maybe we shouldn't go into those dungeons alone after all. Especially since we don't even know where the descent to these dungeons is. Hmm, who do you suggest we call? I say, we bring Jax with us. He's a smart enough guy to help us. Let's do that. Okay, do you know where he is now? I think he's at home. At least the last time I saw him there. Hmm, very strange. Why didn't Jax go to the digital circus today? Well, he probably said he was sick. But actually, he's at home playing computer games. Oh my god, that's just disgusting. He's really very sneaky. Yeah, but that's the good thing about him. Because besides being sneaky, he's also smart enough to help us. So we've come to his house. Jax, open up. Oh yeah, guys, hi. What are you guys doing here? I'm actually sick. Jax, don't lie. We know you're not sick, but really just faking it so you can play on the computer more. Okay, you got me. All right, I'm not sick but please don't tell anyone. Yeah, we'll try not to tell Kane. If you do one thing for us. No request. Please, guys, just give us something simple. Well, actually, our request is quite simple. You need to help us find a dungeon and go down into it with us in order to find the red dust and staff in the digital dungeon. We need this to make a portal to the world of Bikini Bottom. Oh my god, you guys decided to go to Bikini Bottom World? Yes, we did decide to go to the world of Bikini Bottom. I think it's a good idea. Oh my god, guys, that's really dangerous. Are you sure you want to do this? That's where the plankton is after all. Yeah, we know there's plankton in there, but we think we can negotiate with them or just avoid them. Okay guys, in that case, let's go. I was really hoping I could talk you out of it because I'm too lazy to help you, but let's give it a try. In order to get to one of the dungeon numbers, we have to go up to the top floor of my house. My God, to go to the top floor of your house and what is there? Well, there is a railroad that leads to digital dungeons. The railroad right outside the window that leads to the digital dungeons. Well, I need it so I can go to the mine more often and get cool resources. Oh my god, so that's why you're so rich. Yeah, I find diamonds in the mine a lot. Oh my god, this is incredible. Okay, well, let's go for a ride. Yeah, I'm already on my way. Okay, I'll meet you guys there. Yeah, we're on our way to pick you up, Pomni. I really hope I don't crash on this trolley. Oh my god. 
It's so wobbly. It's just awful. Honestly, I'm really scared. Come on, it's gonna be okay. You'll be safe and sound. After all, I built this railroad. Yes, Jax. It's really obvious that you built this railroad. It's all crooked. This railroad will get us where we need to go. And I actually think it's pretty safe, though. Oh my god. Oh my god. I see some doors. Okay, stop. There's a turn. We have to get off the trolley. Oh no, it's gone. Yeah, and my trolley's gone too. Well, at least there's still a princess trolley. Oh no, it's gone the other way. Oh my god, this is just awful. Gosh, how the hell are we going to get back? Well, I've got one wagon. Yeah, well, there's no way we're going backwards on one wagon. Let's go forward. This is the entrance to the digital dungeons. Well, I'm going home then. I've got a carrot farming channel waiting for me. I'm doing an interview there. So bye, guys. No way, Jax. You're coming with us. Why is that? Because if you go back, we'll tell Kane that you tricked him and you're not really sick. All right, fine. I'll help you. Oh, my God. There are so many of these red rays. Yes. Pomni, those are lasers. They have to be avoided very carefully because they are incredibly powerful. Oh, my God. I'm so scared that I'm going to burn my dress with these lasers. Yes, Lulilalu. You certainly don't have the right outfit for such an outing. Yeah, and I'm not comfortable walking between those lasers because I have really long ears. Okay, guys. Well, now, apparently we have to go through this parkour, which has very sharp spikes at the bottom. They're going to be the first of us to go, too. I don't know. Maybe you should do it because I'm jumping pretty high and I might twist my leg on these little blocks. Damn, Lulilalu. Maybe you should go? No, Pomni, let's go. I have a dress and I'll block your view, so I'll go at the end and I'll make sure Jax doesn't run away. Damn. Okay, I'll go second. Okay, I'll go first. So we're jumping on these little blocks. Oh, damn. I got my dress caught on these spikes. Please be careful. Yeah, guys, be careful. Oh, damn it. I fell, too. That's just awful. I really hope those thorns weren't poisonous. Yeah, I hope so, too. Luli Lalu, if anything, we're waiting for you at the end of this parkour. Oh, my God. I think I'm stuck here forever. Damn, that's a weird friend you have. Yeah, she's a little weird. So there you are, Luli Lalu. Let's move on. So there's these massive doors. Wow, apparently there's some kind of rest stop in here. Yeah, we barbecue here sometimes with friends. That's just incredible. Why didn't you call us? Well, because we usually do it in the rough mail company. Oh my god, it's so weird that you don't call. Yeah, Jax, it's really weird. You could have called us for company. Okay, guys, we can work this out, but we gotta move. Yeah, well, what's in that trunk? Whoa, Luli Lalu, look at this. There's a lot of weapons in that chest. Oh, let's take them to fight off the plankton and their sidekicks. Good idea, Luli Lalu. Okay, well, we need to go in there. From the looks of it, we need to open these doors. Okay, three, two, one, open. Oh my god, are we really in some kind of dungeon? Yeah, and you didn't believe me? Here we are. But be careful, there might be some monsters in here. What? Monsters? I'm very unafraid. Luli Lalu, the important thing is not to panic. We can definitely find the necessary items to build this portal. Yes, and I really hope we can do it. Yeah, and the most important thing is not to run into any nasty monsters, because there will be a lot of them. Oh my god, don't scare me, Jax. Yes, Jax, don't scare us. Well, I'm not lying to you. There's going to be a lot of monsters here. Uh, okay. Luli Lalu, let's go ahead. Yeah, I'm already jumping in after you. Ow! Holy damn, I got shot by some arrow. Oh my god, there really is some kind of arrow trap here. Ow, jeez, that hurts so bad. Holy damn, that's just disgusting. I got a lot of arrows stuck in my ass. Yeah, what can I do? I hope they weren't poisonous. Oh my god, okay, I'm going to try to make one last jump. So, oh man, another arrow in my ass. That's terrible. Luli Lalu, jump for us. Oh my god, I'm so scared. I think I'm gonna rip my huge dress. I think I'm gonna hit all the traps in here. There's a huge number of them. Come on, Luli Lalu, just try to run. Run and jump. Okay, I'm gonna try that. Wow, so far so good. Just a little bit more and, uh, yeah, I got it. That's incredible. Oh my god, that's really cool! The weird thing is that you're the only one that did it. Yeah, Jack. We were hoping that at least you wouldn't hit those traps because you're a rabbit. Okay, guys, don't bug me. Let's better get a move on. This is also where you have to go parkour with lava at the bottom. Yes, you have to jump very carefully to avoid going into the lava. Oh my god, Lulu, Lulu, I hope you don't fall. Actually, I hope you don't fall. I'm not gonna fall. You'll see. Come on, come on, jump. Yes, jump, Lulu, Lulu. We'll see about that. And so, I'm just about to come through, guys. Jump for me, Jax. So, I'll be right behind you guys. Jump for me. What's taking you so long? Yeah. Yeah, I'm already jumping for you. And so, oh my god, this is going to be a very desperate and scary jump. I've got to get to that block. Wow, I did it. Oh my god, there's a door over here. Uh, there's some kind of chest, but honestly, I'm really scared. I can't reach it, so I'm not going to jump in there. Because then it's going to be really hard for me to jump in. 
because then it's gonna be really hard for me to jump back up. Wow, Luli Lalu, you beat me? Yes, I beat you. No, I am now. Just be careful, there are a lot of traps. I almost fell into one of them. It's terrible if you fall into it. You can lose a leg. Yes, it's really dangerous. It's better not to touch them. Guys, the question is which of these tunnels to choose. I don't even know which of these tunnels we can go into. Guys, think for yourselves. Don't look at me. I don't understand anything here. Jax, I have an idea. Let's go to the white tunnel. It will be safe enough. Yes, I think so too. Because the tunnel with the red flag is definitely not suspicious. Okay, in that case, let's try to go through it. Just Jax, be careful not to step on those pressure plates. There's probably a trap in there. Aw, oh, damn it. They really do shoot arrows. Yeah, you need to be, yeah, you need to be careful. Okay, let's run through. Ow, oh, damn, I've been hit by an arrow. Oh my god, I've already been hit by a lot of arrows. I'm waiting for you guys here. Yeah, yeah, I'm on my way. Full run and the arrows are coming within a centimeter of my tail. Yeah, I'm through too. All right, let's keep going. So what kind of room is this? I have no idea. Wait a minute, I see some kind of lever here. Let me try to pull it. Jax, wait, don't push it. Oh my god, I fell down. Uh, there's water spilled in here though. I think you guys can jump in after me. Are you sure? Are you sure it's safe down there? Yeah, there's water spilled down here. I mean, wait, Jax, you pulled that lever without being sure it was safe? Well, I didn't think you were going to fail. It was a surprise to me. Okay, guys. All right, I'll wait for you here. I'm already anxious to get to the bikini bottom. Let's make it quick. So, apparently, someone left their bones here. Yeah, that poor guy's a real bummer. Okay, let's not get distracted by the sad stuff and try to move on. Oh my god, I ran into those awful spikes again. And again, it's just disgusting how sharp they are. Wow, there's another guy down here. Yeah, there's a skeleton again. Oh my god, that's so gross. Okay, guys, apparently we need to go upstairs. So, oh my god, there's a hatch. We can open it. Yeah, look, I'm up here. Oh no, how many skeletons are there? Guys, please subscribe to the channel right now so that we can definitely get into the world of Bikini Bottom. Yeah, guys, if you don't subscribe, we're definitely not going to make it. Okay, guys, let's move on. Oh my god, there's some skeleton again. And wait a minute, guys, apparently I'm... I have some sad news. Yeah, I think I'm getting it. Guys, we're back where we started, just through the yellow tunnel. Oh no. We just went the opposite way. Yeah, guys, that's just disgusting. We'll have to go through the red tunnel and hope we find our way to the bikini bottom. Yeah, it's sad. And even sadder and even sadder that apparently we have to go through the red tunnel. Jax, oh no, not the red tunnel. Okay, guys, I see a couple blocks to jump through. All right, here we go. And what do we have around the corner? Damn, there's lasers. All right, we're gonna have to go through it. It wouldn't be the first time. I'm sorry about my big, beautiful dress like I have. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Okay, good. I'll try to get through this. Guys, I think I'm somewhere near the end of this laser maze, and there are more lasers, and so it's just a little bit left, and I'll reach the finish line. Wow, guys, I'm done with this challenge. Yeah, I'm right behind you. Oh, no. Apparently, we're going to have to go through this lava maze right now. Man, I threw my carrot in there, and it burned up. We could do the same thing. We have to be careful. Yeah, you guys need to be careful not to hit that lava. Ow, damn it. I've already hit it. Man, it burns really bad. Okay, phew, I'm kind of out of it. You have to be very careful around corners. This lava is really hot and it's easy to get burned but I'm not giving up because we have to build a portal to the world of Bikini Bottom today speaking of which guys I see a door yeah I see it too and I'm almost there Jax somehow managed to get to it by another way apparently it's not that complicated a maze yeah the whole point of it is that it's filled with lava yeah it's just awful by the way Jax we've reached a room yeah I'm almost there too oh man I almost ruined my dress with all that lava hmm what is that I honestly don't know but it looks like some kind of fountain. No, I don't think it's a fountain. The princess is probably a catapult of some sort. Jax, is it a catapult? Yes, try pressing this button. Okay, let's try it. Oh my god, there really is a huge amount of TNT spawned here. I really hope I don't get hurt. Yeah, I flew upstairs. Guys, I'm waiting for you here. Yeah, I'm gonna hop up there too. Okay, watch this. Oh no, man, I didn't make it. All right, well, I'll give it a shot. Okay, now I'm gonna do a jump and oh my gosh, wow. Uh, that was really cool. Yeah, it's very exciting. Oh my god, where are we? There are some doors in front of us. Yes, Luli Lalu, there are some doors in front of us. Hmm, guys, I think this is exactly where we need to be. This is most likely where the red dust and staff lies. Okay, then what are we waiting for? Let's open the door. Yeah, Luli Lalu, let's open it up. Oh my god, there's some kind of laboratory in here. Well, actually, according to my friends, there was an evil scientist who lived here a long time ago and left a lot of things behind. It's very dusty, and it looks like no one's been here for a long 
time. But where's the red dust? Wait a minute, let's look in this chest. Well, wow, there really is red dust in here. And this is the staff we're looking for. Yes, we are not rich yet, but nevertheless, we can already build the portal to the bikini bottom that we have been dreaming about for a long time now. Pomni, we are incredibly rich. So done, and so I activate it, and that portal actually worked, guys. This is unbelievable. All right, I'm gonna go do my thing. Wait, what do you mean? You're going? Well, we had a deal. Yeah, Luli Lalu, I guess let's let Jax go. Wow, he gave us carrots too. Yeah, you guys have some carrots, and I'll take off. Oh my god, I'm so scared to teleport to Bikini Bottom with you. What if we get kidnapped? Okay, Luli Lalu, the important thing is that we have laser rifles. Great, all right, I'm teleporting over there right now. Three, two, one. Oh my god, Luli Lalu, it looks like you and I have really teleported to the world of Bikini Bottom. Yes, it's incredible, but at the same time, I'm really scared that we're about to be attacked. Come on, Luli Lalu. It should be safe enough here. Oh my god. This is SpongeBob's house, and that's Squidward's house, and that's kind of Patrick's house over there. Hmm. Let's try to visit SpongeBob. Are you sure that's a good idea? Come on. I think it's a great idea. Okay. It's kind of like this door right here. Wow. SpongeBob. Is that you? Who the hell are you? Well, actually, my name is Pomni. I come to you from the Digital Circus. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Kind of like you and I used to see each other once. Yes, SpongeBob, you have. Yeah, and we know each other. Oh, it's you, the pink hottie. Oh my god, it's been so long since I've seen you. This is incredible. Hey, Pomni, you want me to show you a trick? Uh, I don't know. Go ahead. What are you doing, SpongeBob? Look, I took off your shirt. Oh my god, that's just awful. I got it off you too. I got it right here. Oh my god, SpongeBob. That's disgusting. Yeah, it's disgusting. Give it back right now. Hey, give it back. No, I'm not giving it back to you. I'll only give it back to you after I give you a tour of our wonderful city. Oh my god. Oh my god, SpongeBob. I honestly don't feel very good about this. I'm going to give an incredible tour. That's why I think you'll be interested. So look, guys, you can see before your eyes the wonderful home of my best friend, Squidward. SpongeBob, get out of here. You just me. Okay, let's not go there. I think Squidward is busy for now. Maybe we can stop by Patrick's, although, geez, Patrick's probably asleep right now. Let's go to Krasty Krabs. I think it's a great idea if we go to Krasty Krabs now and have some really good burgers. What if there's plankton there and they trap us? There won't be plankton, but honestly, there shouldn't be. We recently put in a very nice door that protects against insects. Oh my god, I'm really scared of plankton. We wouldn't want to meet them. Come on, don't be afraid. He's actually a pretty harmless guy, although he tries to steal the Krabs burger recipe from us all the time. He'll never make it. By the way, here's our airport bikini bottom. You even have airplanes here. Like airplanes. It's a swimming machine. Because after all, bikini bottom is underwater. It's a very strange place. It would seem that we are underwater, but you can still breathe here. Yes, it is very strange indeed. Oh my god, guys. Wait for me. I'm so uncomfortable running in these heels. Yeah! Come on, Luli Lalu. You'll catch up with us. You know where to go anyway. It's just straight down the path, that's all. Oh my god. Is this the plankton place? Yeah. Yeah, he's been saying for years that it's gonna open up and he's gonna have a lot of customers, even more than we do, but somehow his business is not going well. Yeah, well, I think Krabs Burgers would be better. Yeah, that's what our customers think too. Oh my God, I never thought I'd actually end up at Krasty Krabs. Wow, look, look, Squidward's already on the job. SpongeBob, back off, you're bothering me. Oh, well, let's not distract him. He's a busy guy. Look, come into the kitchen. There's a huge amount of food for you. Wow, food? I hope it's good. Yeah, sure, it's a Krabs Burger. Here you go. So, oh my god, it really is a Krabs burger. Let me try to eat it. Wow, it's really good. Thank you, SpongeBob. Yeah, I know you're hungry. Here, Luli Lalu, here you go. Yeah, I could eat something right now, too. Yeah, I really hope that, I really hope that you like these burgers. SpongeBob, why don't you return our t-shirts? No, I'm definitely not returning them. Hmm. Then why won't you give them back to us? Because I actually ate them. Oh my god, you actually ate our shirts? Well, yeah, in a way you could say that. Oh my god, that's just awful. Luli Lalu, can we go home? Well, actually, you don't have to go home. You can stay here forever. Um, honestly, I wouldn't want that. I have to perform at the Digital Circus tomorrow. Yeah, I have a gig at the Digital Circus coming up too. All right, guys. In that case, let me show you something else. Maybe we can find some interesting building and do something there. Oh my god. 
SpongeBob sounds disgusting. Come on, you'll never get out of here anyway. What do you mean we'll never get out of here? Come on, I'm just kidding. Don't think anything bad. Speaking of which, this right here, as I recall, is one of our cool supermarkets. They sell all kinds of cool stuff. Like, you know, you can buy a bed. You can get a bed for $9.99. You can get a bed for $1. But a $1 bed will be cursed and you'll have the worst dreams. Oh my god, I wouldn't want a bed like that. Yeah, I wouldn't want a bed like that either. It's just disgusting. Okay, let's get out of this store. I feel kind of bad about it. Well, okay, although we could have bought a bed, we could have taken a souvenir home, so to speak. Yeah, luckily we have beds at home, so we don't have to buy them here, and we'd have to haul them home on our own hump. Yeah, that would be really bad. Hmm, what else is there to show you? It's actually a very simple town, but there are some interesting things going on. For example, that plankton every day tries to steal the crab's burger recipe, even though he says he doesn't need it and has his own recipes, but really he's just bluffing and he doesn't have any of those cool recipes, and all the food he makes is just disgusting. No mentally ill person would even eat it. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that, SpongeBob. Plankton food is disgusting. Wow. Speaking of which, this is the field where we usually catch jellyfish. We can get a net and try to catch some. Uh, I don't think we can do that, SpongeBob. Those jellyfish are too big. Yeah, the net would have to be huge to catch them. Wow, what's that over there, SpongeBob? I honestly don't remember, though. Wait, it's the cabin of my best friend, or rather girlfriend, Sandy. I mean, are you and Sandy dating? Yeah, it's actually a secret. Just don't tell anyone. Okay, SpongeBob. I'll try not to tell anyone about it. Oh my god, this is unbelievable. How could she build a dome like that? Well, she's a squirrel after all. She can move pretty fast. Hmm, but I don't think we should go inside. There might be her stuff scattered around. Let's just walk around outside her house. Yeah, her house is really incredibly big. Hmm, how long did she grow a tree that big? Probably several centuries. For generations. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is just incredible. SpongeBob. And this is our dump where all the garbage from the city is dumped. Oh my god, Sandy must not be comfortable living next to a landfill. Come on, she doesn't care about this dump. She's under the dome. There will be no odor. Well, yes, in principle, logical SpongeBob. Yes, there is a beach. I have not been there for a long time because we are already underwater. Why do we need a beach? So here you can relax, but as you can see, there are very few people here. After all, it's a weekday and everyone is at work. Oh my god, guys, I feel something bad. Uh, what's SpongeBob? Oh no, I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to pass out. Holy damn. Oh my god, Luli Lalu. SpongeBob passed out. That's really awful. Damn it. We need to get him to our hospital right away. Yes, our doctors will definitely help him there. Oh my god, guys. I can barely stand up. Yes, SpongeBob. Let's get you to our hospital as soon as possible. Am I teleporting to the digital circus now? Yes, SpongeBob. We have to help you. You gave us a pretty good tour after all. Yeah, but he stole our t-shirts. Yeah, that's just awful, princess. Apparently, I got sick from eating your t-shirts. Oh my god. Did did you actually eat them? No, I wasn't kidding. I actually ate them. Oh my god, that's just awful. Damn it, SpongeBob. Why did you eat our shirts? That's just awful. They're sweaty. Yeah, it's disgusting. Okay, we need to get to the portal as soon as possible before you get worse, SpongeBob. Yeah, I understand, but I can't go any faster. God damn, I'm crawling so slow right now. Yeah, SpongeBob. You really are very slow. Before you ate our t-shirts, you were faster. Okay, you've had enough gloating, Pink. Oh my god, Luli Lalu, this is just awful. I really hope our doctors can help this SpongeBob. I hope so too, but he deserved it because he ate our jerseys. It's just awful. Come on, Luli Lalu, you still have a whole closet of those pink t-shirts. Oh my god, I feel so bad. Come on, SpongeBob, we'll get to the portal soon. There's not much left, and we'll get there. I don't feel so good. SpongeBob, it won't be long before we're there. You can even see the portal. Yeah, I can see it too. So, just a little bit more, literally just... Just a little bit more. Yes, SpongeBob, it's just a little bit more. We're already close to that portal. We're about five blocks away. Oh my god, that's it. Let's finally jump in. Oh my god, guys, we finally teleported to the digital circus. Yeah, that's really cool, Pomni. Get him to our hospital soon. Yes, SpongeBob, follow us. The hospital is just around the corner. I'm sure we'll be able to help you today. Guys, please subscribe to the channel right now so we can save our friend SpongeBob. It's very important. Yes, guys, please subscribe to the channel so we can save SpongeBob. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're almost there. Let me go in first and ask the nurse if we can get in the room. Hello, our friend SpongeBob has gotten very sick and is in a coma. Oh my god, a coma, really? Yeah, what happened to it? Well, he ate our t-shirts. Yes, Mr. Doctor, he ate our shirts. Oh my god, that's just awful. Well, there's only one way out. What do you see as the solution to this situation? You'll need to teleport inside your friend and destroy those t-shirts inside it. Oh my god, that's just awful. How are we going to do that? With these ender pearls. Wow, 
Doc. Thank you so much. So let's throw these Ender Pearl at Bob. So three, two, one toss. Oh my God, Luli Lalu, you and I have teleported inside SpongeBob. Oh my God, that's really gross. Yeah, but we need to save our new friend. So be very careful. There's a huge number of lasers. You really don't want to hit them. Yes, I'll try. I have quite a lot of experience already. Yeah, we've been through a lot of traps today. I hope we won't have any problems with these. Apparently, we now need to bypass our friend's immunity in order to destroy these t-shirts that he ate. Yeah, we're gonna have to destroy our own clothes to save our friend. SpongeBob is dumb enough. Yeah, he is pretty dumb considering he ate our shirts, but still that doesn't mean we shouldn't save him. Hmm, there's a door here, but it's locked. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? Hmm, wait, Pomni, I see some other pink-colored door. Hmm, you're right. Wow, there really is a door. Wow. Look at this! It looks like we're in SpongeBob's stomach. Yeah, there should probably be jerseys around here somewhere. I don't think so. I hope they are not in the stomach. But still, we're going to have to go through this parkour now. Lulilalu, be careful. Apparently there is acid down there. It's corroding everything. I wouldn't advise you to fall into it. Yeah, I wouldn't want to. You could get very bad burns. Ah, so you have to be as careful as possible. Wow, look at this. There's a chest over here. I wonder what's in it. Hmm, there's some kind of lever lying here. Perhaps with this lever we can open the door. Hmm, you're right. Maybe we can use this lever to open the door. Yeah, that would be really cool. Okay, in that case, we should run back. Ugh, I'm so afraid of falling into this one. Ow, man, acid, damn it. I burned myself on it. Be careful, Pomni. Please, you're very dear to me. I'm glad to hear that, but still, we have to move on here. So, I've set the lever, and now I'm going to try to open these doors. I pull it, and oh my god, I actually did it. Yes, we did it. That's really cool. Hmm, okay. Apparently, we have another parkour to go through. Oh, damn it, it's those spikes again. Yeah, that's disgusting. I hope we don't fall on them like last time. So, jumping from block to block, the main thing is not to get distracted and not to worry, and then we'll be fine. Look, I'm almost at the finish line. It's just a little bit away. Just a couple more jumps and I'll be all the way to the finish line. Yeah, here we go. There's some doors and damn, they're locked too! Yeah, they're locked too. Hmm, okay, I guess we should go this way. Oh my god, there's those spikes again and incredibly strong fans that will push us over them. Damn it, just don't hit those spikes. They're so sharp. So, you, so far we're getting through. Oh no, Oh, I'm getting blown away. Damn, this dress has too much sail. Yeah, it's not. It's very complicated. Ow, I took a jab. Mm. You don't have a dress as cool as mine anyway. Yeah, I thankfully don't have such a huge dress, but we're through for now. We'll have to jump on those iron blocks again. Oh no, but I do see a chest of some kind. Hopefully it'll have some useful resources for us. I'd like to believe so. So, yes, there's another lever here. Hopefully we can use this lever to open these doors. So, just a little bit more, and man, I'm so afraid of falling down. I mean, there's a lot of these sharp spikes. I'd hate to get on them. Okay, great. Luli Lalu, I'm waiting for you here. All we have to do is open these doors and we can get in. Oh my god, is this what I think it is? Whoa, we actually got inside SpongeBob's head. There's some kind of chest, but it's empty. Hmm, there's some kind of stairs. Man, I didn't realize he had so many gold false teeth. Yeah, that looks really gross. Okay, all right, let's go upstairs. Wow, he has such a small brain. And there's some kind of chest in here. I wonder what's in it. Wow, look at that. That's where our t-shirts are. This is unbelievable. Yeah, we can finally teleport back. So, Luli Lalu, we can get out of SpongeBob. Throw Pearl three, two, one. Oh my God, it looks like we saved you, SpongeBob. Wow, guys, thank you so much. I thought I wasn't gonna make it. Yeah, that was just awful. Hey, what a nice day it is today. The morning is so warm and just beautiful. So it's nice that today is my day off and I can do my own thing. Oh, princess, maybe she'd like to go for a walk with me? That would be nice enough. Pomni, listen, I have a favor to ask of you. Yes, what is it, Princess Lulilalalu? Anyway, have you seen Jax and Rogata lately? No, I haven't. What's up? Well, we agreed to meet them this morning and go fishing, but they didn't show up. I tried to go to their house, but the door is locked. I don't know what to do. Hmm, that's strange. I thought they were here the other day day. Yesterday, at least. I definitely saw them. That's very strange. It's not like them. Usually when we agreed, they always kept their promises and came. Well, maybe something happened to them. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Let's go into their house and see if they need help or something. Okay, all right, let's go. Really? Those doors are locked. I don't know how we're going to get in. Well, maybe we can break the window. We can break the window, but we'll have to rebuild it later. Well, 
Yeah, but at least we'll know if Jax and Murata are okay. Okay, let's ring the doorbell first. Okay, well, nobody seems to be answering the door. Okay, let's try to maybe use the hell to break the window and try to climb in through it. Well, come on. All right, that's the way to do it. Well, very much so. We'll rebuild it later. Yeah, sure. Okay, great, Pomni. Get in. Yeah, that's it. I climbed in through the window. Okay, well, there's no sign of Jax. Let's go upstairs. See if he's on the second floor. Well, he's not here either. And the bed's made, which is weird. It's like he's gone somewhere. Yeah, that's possible. Maybe he got on a trolley and just went wherever he was going. Well, I doubt it really. If he was going to leave, at least he would have warned us. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, maybe he's just at Rogata's house. Maybe let's try Rogata's house. Maybe she's there after all. And we can, uh... And she can tell us where Jax is. Well, I guess if there's no Jax, there's no Rogata. So, well, how do we get here? I don't know. I haven't looked here. I haven't tried to get into this house. Maybe there's a door open here. Well, let's have a look. So, yes, indeed. The door appeared to be open. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anyone here. Maybe the second floor is empty, too. Damn it, they're really not here. Third floor is empty, too. I don't know where else to look. I think there's a basement. Let's take a look down there. Okay, what's in there? I don't know. Well, at least you have some kind of a way down there. Yeah, let's try going down there. So, it's weird. There's never been this basement here before. Okay, that's weird enough. Well, I don't remember this tunnel in the regatta house. Yeah, that's weird. I doubt she built it herself. Maybe she didn't even do it. Maybe someone else sat under her house. Yeah, that's a possibility, by the way. Let's go further in and see who lives here. Maybe we shouldn't, because it could be dangerous. Yeah, no, let's go. If you want, I'll go first. Come on, you go then. Thoughtful. So, be careful. Remember, there's going to be spawn dispensers here. Yes, I can see that. So let's jump them. All right, well, let's move on. But I don't think this is going to do any good. Don't worry. Yeah, but look at how many lasers and other traps there are. There's a very good chance we could hit them if we run out of here in an emergency. Okay, man, this looks like a dead end. Yeah, there's no other way in. That's weird. There's a camera here, by the way. Yeah, I can see that. I wonder if we're being... Is anyone watching us right now? I really hope not, because if anyone is looking at the image of this camera right now, they realize that we are at someone's house. Yes, but where is the... There must be a passage further down? Yeah, well, look, there's a lever here. Why don't we push it? Okay, the most important thing is that the trap is not activated. Let's see. Okay, let's press it. Wow, look, there's some kind of entrance opening up. Yeah, that's really, really, really weird. Well, let's have a look. Let's go through. There's lava in here. You'll have to be careful not to burn your dress. Yeah, I'll try. Man. Yeah, it's easy enough to get through this fence. It's very sturdy, and it's incredibly hard to fall in. I don't know. It looks very dangerous to me, considering there's lava at the bottom. Yeah, but in general, the fence holds, and you can jump on it. Okay, never mind. We're past this fence, and we can move on. So, what's behind these curtains? Okay, I'm opening this door. There's some kind of cage in here. We came here looking for our friends. Damn it, who the hell is this who's come into my hideout? What are you doing here? Oh, damn it. He shot something at me and he's hitting me. Ow, man. I'm getting worse and worse. I'm getting dizzy. Ow, that really hurts. Princess, help me, please. Man, where's the princess? Hey, you shouldn't have come here. You'll regret it now. Oh, my God. Damn it. My head hurts so bad. Why am I in a cage? That's it. Now you're going to sit here. You're a prisoner now. My God. Where's the princess? Princess, she was with me. She fell into one of my traps. I will take her to my other hideout and eat her there. Oh my god, what's going to happen to me? Well, I haven't decided yet. I'll think about it at my leisure. In the meantime, stay here. There's bread for you. If you need it, you can have a snack. Well, why don't you let me out and I'll go about my business and pretend I wasn't here? Oh no, since you're the one who came into my lair, you'll stay here. All right, well, see you later. Ah, uh, damn it. What am I supposed to do? We've got to get out of here somehow. That horrible cop kidnapped the princess and possibly Rogata and Jax. How am I gonna get out of here? Guys, please subscribe to the channel so I can get out of here and save my friends. Okay, maybe we can break this grate? No, it's incredibly thick. There's no way to break it. Maybe I can reach the lever. So, yes, I've got it. That's great. That's very lucky for me. Because if I couldn't reach that lever, I'd have to sit here the rest of the time until that horrible policeman came. So, uh, uh, there are chests here that are signed with our names? That's really weird. There's a chest with my name on it. We'll have to try and open it. Okay, there's a revolver in here. Oh my god, it's the same revolver I lost a couple days ago. And the emeralds that went missing from my house. Gosh, that awful policeman has apparently been stealing from our houses. He stole carrots from Jax and gold from 
from Kane. God damn, that son of a... I guess now I have to deal with him anyway to save my friends and get back the other stuff he stole from us? Okay, well, we gotta get out of here. I hope I don't see that cop just yet, because apparently he has some kind of weapon that can paralyze me for a while. Okay, let's get through this fence. All right, great. We gotta get out of here before he comes back. Let's close this door and get out of here. Ow, damn it, that really hurts. Okay, we gotta find the princess before she gets eaten by that horrible cop. Let's go upstairs, but where do we find him now? Okay, I'll try Kane. Where do we find this horrible policeman? We should go to Kane. There he is. I gotta follow him wherever he goes. Hopefully, he'll lead me to his hideout. As long as he doesn't see me? Okay, what? He jumped down the well? That's weird. Why would he do that? Okay, I think we should go after him. I just have to wait a little while to make sure he's not following me. I'll look in this well just in case, but first I'll have my gun ready. Okay, there's nothing here. All right, and the cop's not here. We should try jumping down. Okay, okay, I guess I'm gonna have to open the door to catch up with this cop. Oh my god. Was there really a safe house inside this well? That's really weird. Okay, somewhere around here must be the horrible policeman who kidnapped my friends. Holy crap, there's a lot of lasers in here, even more than the last corridor with traps. The most important thing is not to get hit by any of these lasers because it's going to hurt a lot. Okay, let's go carefully. Good job. And damn it, there's that damn fence in lava again. Well, at least it's not that hard a challenge. The most important thing is to walk carefully and everything will be fine, especially since I've got golden apples. That's something. Okay, we can speed up a little bit here. Now, when I jump, the most important thing is not to fall. It's quite hot in this room, but I'm almost through. That's just great. Okay, I'm gonna try to jump over. That was good. What's the next room? It's filled with some kind of liquid. It's really weird and it smells bad. Oh man, it's burning. Is it acid or something? Or maybe oil? Well, either way, it's best not to fall in that liquid. Okay, I think I've reached a dead end. I gotta go back. I'm not gonna make it over these few blocks. Just a little bit more and I'm gonna make it through this room. Ow, damn it, I fell. That could have cost me my life. Good thing I was able to get out. Ooh, I almost fell on those awful sharp spikes. They look very dangerous. Apparently I need to jump on this slime block and get to these stone blocks from it. Guys, subscribe to the channel so I can complete all the challenges and save my friends. Okay, let's jump. Wow, that was awesome. But the most dangerous part is ahead. I have to jump over these sharp spikes. If I fall, I'm gonna get hurt. Oh uh, yeah, that really hurt. I have to go through it again. Sadly, I have to pass all the tests to save my friends. I won't be back without them. Uh, great, this trial was easy enough. Oh my god, now I have to swim. I'm not a good swimmer. The key is not to drown. Hold your breath and jump. Three, two, one. Oh my god, the water's so murky in here. I hope it's not sewage because that would be disgusting. I think I'm almost out. Phew. I was starting to run out of air, but I made it. There's some massive iron doors in here. Apparently there's this horrible cop behind them. I'm gonna try to open it. Hey, who's there? Who's bothering me at this early hour? I'll get the door. Damn it, you're here again? That's it. You're dead. Let my friends go. No, if you got out of my last hideout, you should have just left. You decided to follow me. Now you're gonna pay. Damn it, I need to get some apples. Man, he's so powerful and fast. I can't hit him. He's very agile. Just a few more shots and that's it. Great. I've eliminated him. Guys, we did it. This is just incredibly cool. Pomni, let us out now. Yes, yes, princess. I'll let you out now. Jax needs help. He's been poisoned. Oh my god, what do we do? He needs to be taken to the hospital. He looks really bad. Okay, let's get him in our arms and get out of here. Just make sure we don't run into any monsters on the way. Yeah, it was awful sitting in that cage. Jax was unconscious. It was scary. Damn it. I'm running out of air. Not much left. Whew, I made it out. Princess, are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. We need to break this block. Damn it. It's strong. Whew, I got it. Come up behind me. Yeah, I'm coming. The main thing is to get out of this horrible place. Let's jump out. Damn it. Come on, I'll give you a lift. Great. We're out of this horrible evil cop's hideout. Now we can take Jax to the hospital because he needs help right away. We need to hurry. There's no telling how long Jax has been in this state. He may not be able to be helped anymore. Don't don't worry, Pomni. I'm sure with our doctors, we'll get Jax back on his feet in no time. Let's put him on the bed. Okay, I think we should get a doctor now. Yeah, let's go. He should be around here somewhere, but I don't see him yet. Okay, I'll go ask the nurse. Excuse me, we need a doctor to help our friend. Yeah, yeah, he'll be right there. Pardon me, but for the moment, you need to leave the hospital because unauthorized people are not allowed here. How do we know when our friend will get better? As soon as he gets better, we'll call you and let you know that everything is fine. Okay, fine. Can we take one stroller with us? Yes, of course you can take it. Great, I think we can have a wheelchair race. Yes, by the way, Pomni, that's a great idea. Let me take one. Although, you better take one. I can't do any heavy lifting. Okay, great. I know what we'll do while Jax recovers. Let's go find a place with good pavement so we can ride more comfortably. Yes, indeed. What do you say we take a ride home? Okay, I've been up late at Kane's. It's midnight. I'm scared to go home. Man, I should go to bed because I'm getting really sleepy. So, is that Bard at someone's house? What's he 
he doing there, I wonder? And why is he outside at this late hour? I mean, nothing good can happen this late at night. So, man, where's Pomni? Oh, P hi. Bart, what are you doing here? Late? Why aren't you asleep? Look, I've got a great idea what we can do. What's that? Listen, I found a really cool place I want to show you. Right now? At midnight? Yeah, it's much more atmospheric that way. It's quite creepy. And going there at night is the best way to go? Well, I don't know. What if something happens? There's not many people walking around the digital circus at night? Well, I don't know. Yeah, it'll be fine. Don't worry. Do you think there are ghosts in the digital circus? Well, I don't know. It could very well be. Jax told me he saw a ghost once. He was just messing with you. There's no such thing as ghosts. Are you with me? Oh man, I'm actually really sleepy, and I'd rather go in the morning, or somewhere more, man. Closer to lunchtime. Oh man, Pomni, why are you so boring? Come on, it'll be fun. Okay, you talked me into it. Come on, where is this place? Well, come on, I'll show you. It's on the second island of the Digital Circus. Man, it's a long way down there. Yeah, but I know a shortcut. Come on, we can make it. About 20 minutes to get there. Okay, alright. And what shortcut did you find? Well, look, there's a wagon right here. You put the wagon on and you go... Yeah, but it doesn't seem to be a very shortcut. It's kind of long enough, even longer than taking the subway. Well, maybe, but I got here in about 15 or 20 minutes, so it's going to be okay. Okay, everybody, one, two, three, go. A few minutes later. Man, this is a long drive. Bart, I'm really sleepy. Why don't we just drive back home? No, we're almost there. It's too late to go home. Okay, well, I'm glad you talked me into it. Come on, let's go and show you this interesting place. Uh okay, let me just get a drink of water. Okay, all right, fine, I'm drunk. We can go. There, look, there's some weird building behind the gym. Yeah, it looks pretty weird. It's made of stone, apparently. So, yeah, look at it. It looks awfully scary. Yeah, this is the first time I've seen it at all. Where did it come from? It's never been here before. I don't know. I found it today when I was checking out the digital circus. Look, there's even some statues at the entrance. They're really scary, and they make weird noises. Yes, it's very scary. Why don't we get out of here? I don't think this place bodes well. What, are you scared? I think it's just a set for some movie or something. Don't you guys ever have a movie made in a digital circus? No, they never make movies in a digital circus. I think it's best not to come in here. It looks pretty weird. Yeah, and I think if Kane was building something new, he would say, yeah, don't worry about it. Here, let me come in now and see if it's going to be okay. No, Bart, you better not. Damn it, man, the doors are closed. Okay, man, they won't open. Okay, man, Pomni, something's going on here, something weird. Please help me. Oh my god, I'm being sucked into something. What? Bart, where are are you? Oh my god, I can't see him. Where'd he go? What the hell am I gonna do? We gotta get inside somehow. Okay, man, the door still won't open. Where am I supposed to go? Who do I turn to? I'm not sure Kane can help me with that. Okay, well, what do I do? What do I do? Right, maybe the witch can tell me how to get in and where Bart disappeared to. I really hope he's okay. Guys, be sure to subscribe to the channel so I can save Bart. So, man, where the hell did he go? I don't think there's anything inside. Is this house cursed? Yeah, I'll say. And the Turgu, although there's no Turgu. Okay, well, hopefully the the witch will help me. Well, witch, witch, are you here? Yes, yes, I'm here. What do you want, Pomni? Listen, I got a problem. My friend Bart went into some stone house over there and disappeared. How could he disappear? Well, when he went into that house, the doors closed and something happened. He disappeared somewhere. Hmm, man. Well, let's go over and see him. I might be able to help, but if that house is cursed, I'm not going in there. I'll be able to tell that when we get near it. Okay, and if this house is cursed, where's Bart gone? I don't know. Maybe he was kidnapped by some ghosts or something. Some other horrible monster. Oh no, I hope that doesn't happen. He's probably just messing with me. Hmm, no, I can already sense that there's something wrong with this house. Apparently, it's really cursed. Well, let's get closer. Let's have a look. So, yes, there is indeed something wrong with this house. So I'm not going inside, but I can tell you how to get inside. How? You have to use the magic key. I'll give it to you now. Give me the key. Here, with this lever, you can open these doors. But be careful. This house holds a lot of dangers. Will you come with me? me so I can rescue Bart because I'm not sure I can do it alone. No, I won't risk going in there. I care too much about my life, so I'll get out of here before anything bad happens. Okay, I'll just have to open this door alone and look for Bart. Oh man, oh man. Okay, well, we'll have to try to open these doors with this lever. Okay, putting the lever in, got it. Wow, apparently this key, this lever is really magical. Because from what I understand, these doors are enchanted and you can't just open them. Oh my god, there are some golden statues in here. Oh my god, they're making some weird noises too. This is really weird. Well, where's Bart? 
heart. Where could he have gone? It doesn't seem to be anything. It's like, except for these statues, it's just empty. Well, there's a pickaxe. But what's it for? Maybe there's some kind of secret passage where Bart went or where he was dragged. This block is very different from the others. Maybe there's something underneath it. Let's try to break this block. So, yes, indeed, there was some sort of tunnel hiding under this block. Apparently, I'm going to have to jump down and see if I can find Bart. Guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel so I can find Bart and save him. It's very important. Okay, I have no choice but to jump. Okay, three, two, one. Oh my god. Man, there's some doors. All right, let's open them. Okay, opening this door. Oh my god, there's some other tunnel here. There's slime blocks at the bottom. I guess I'm gonna have to go downstairs. Yeah, I don't see any other way. Well, landing on the slime won't hurt much, so it's basically okay. So, yeah, great. Oh, damn it. I broke the slime block. Okay, let's put it back in place. Oh, great. Oh my god, where am I? It's like a dungeon in here. What's in here? This is really weird. Okay, there's a bunch of spikes. Apparently, they're incredibly sharp. I've got to get over there. I've got to jump on these blocks. Ow, man. Yeah, these spikes are incredibly sharp. I gotta be careful because if I fall on them again, I may not be able to get out in time and I'm going to stab myself really hard on those spikes. Well, next up is the lava maze. Holy crap. This is going to be even harder. The most important thing is not to get hurt by this lava because it's incredibly hot. Damn it. It's hot in this room. Gotta hurry up and finish going through this maze and get on to the next challenge or whatever it is that awaits me. Ow, man. Holy crap. Yeah, the lava really is incredibly hot. So, ow, man. I hope there's something worthwhile in this chest. Wow, there's golden apples and some kind of plaster and ammo. Well, that's pretty good. Now I can eat a golden apple that will give me immunity to fire. And it will be much easier to pass this test. At least now I'm not being damaged by fire, which is already very good. So I can pass the rest of the maze without much difficulty. Okay, that's it. Great, I'm extinguished and I can move on. Man, there's some awfully thin fence here. Man, the most important thing is not to fall down because this fence is incredibly thin and I'm clumsy enough to fall down at any moment. I, apparently, if I fall down, I can't get out. I mean, there's no doors or anything, so, okay, well, well, I've been through most of it, so I don't think I need to worry. Maybe we can jump over here. All right, let's go. Three, two, one. I got it. Cool. All right, let's keep going. Okay, man, there's a room with lasers next, man. Every challenge gets harder and harder. Well, at least I passed the next one. Hopefully the lasers will be easier. Okay, man, something tells me these lasers are incredibly powerful, so it's best not to stumble upon them. Okay, man, what kind of lasers are these. I'm probably not gonna get under them. I'm gonna try the side here. Yeah, that's good. I got it. All right, now we gotta jump over this laser somehow. All right, that's done. Let's keep going. Okay. Oh my god, I hear the sound of monsters. We need to keep our weapons ready. I don't know what's in this dungeon. Oh my god, there's a lot of lasers in here. How do I get past them? Is this a dead end? There's no way I can go any further. Okay, first we have to eat the golden apple. That way, maybe I can jump over these things where the laser comes out of. Okay, yeah, that's working. That's great. Okay, but there's a lot of lasers. Oh man, yeah, they're incredibly powerful. That was really painful. Okay, a little bit more. All right. Oh my god, I'm being attacked by a horrible monster. Good thing I have this blaster. Okay, it's helping me take on all sorts of monsters. Okay, in this chest lies a boat. Am I really gonna have to sail across this ice in this wooden boat to avoid bumping into these spikes? Yeah, that's what it looks like. All right, we're going carefully. We're going around these spikes. That's pretty good, actually. I hope this hallway isn't too long because I'm afraid of spikes. Yeah, I don't really like slippery surfaces. I mean, there's a good chance of slipping and falling. And get hurt. Okay, all right, great. I think I'm almost through. I think this corner will be the end of it. Oh, hell no, there's more spikes. All right, carefully make your way through. I hope this ends soon, because I'm getting pretty tired of this. Okay, yeah, that's where I see the end of this path. Oh my god, I fell somewhere. Okay, is there, like, a waterfall or something? I'm going down somewhere. Oh my god, I can see lava down there. Oh, damn it. Guys, I hope I don't fall into that lava and get burned. Oh my god, no, that's terrible. Okay, you, I fell right into the water. I was very lucky. I was really afraid. I was going to fall into this horrible lava and get burned. Okay, well, it looks like I'm in for quite an ordeal. Look at this. There's some blocks coming up. I'm gonna have to jump to the next block while they're moving out. All right, let's try it. All right, first block's gone. Just a few more to go. Okay, the most important thing is to get to that slime. I think it's gonna be a little easier there. So, you, I did it. I'm halfway through this challenge. Okay, but now the blocks are moving out really fast. I have to jump over them before they disappear. All right, I've been with these blocks. All right, let's jump. All right, I got it. Okay, phew, last block left. All right, here we go. Ugh, I almost fell in that lava. Okay, well, now it's just a jump to these slime blocks, and it's gonna get easier. Run, jump, and do the slime. All right, spread out and jump. Oh my god, phew, I thought I was gonna fall down by the lava. If I hadn't jumped a little bit, I would have fallen right into that hot lava. But I didn't. I just have to eat one more apple, and then we can move on. Okay, but this one's a little bit easier. All the blocks are in place, and they're not moving. That makes me happy. It's not as difficult as I thought it would be.
ready? Okay, a couple of jumps. Think I'm gonna pass this challenge. I can't see. Okay, all right, let's jump. All right, that's it. I think I can see the exit. Yeah, cool. Now we're gonna jump on these slime blocks, and that's it. This challenge is over. This is probably the hardest test we've ever had here. Okay, everyone, we can move on now. Okay, there's a railroad and a chest. The chest contains railroad cars, but I have my own railroad car, so basically I can use it. I set up this wagon and hit the road. I hope there aren't any traps waiting for me, because I'm really scared. It scares me enough that there's lava everywhere. I'm afraid of hitting it. Oh my god, it's Bart. Damn it, I got him. Man, who are you? And why did you come here? I came here for my friend Bart. Why did you kidnap him? Well, he came onto my property, and I have every right to kidnap him. Now he's going to live in my house. Oh no, I'm taking him. Do you want it or not? Well, then if you want him, you'll have to fight me. Oh yeah? All right, all right. Then I'm ready to fight you. Okay, I have this amazing laser rifle. So, man, wow. Dad, how many lives do you have? Okay, that worked out great. I destroyed that weirdo. Okay, man, I knocked down a frame here. All right, I'll put it back. Okay, what's in this chest? Nothing. All right, well, we gotta move on. We gotta save Bart. Okay, looks like I'm gonna need another wagon. Let's set it up and hit the road. Oh my god, Bart, have you come to rescue me? Yes, I'm here to save you. Just be careful. There's some weird guy out there who might be guarding me. Don't worry, I've already dealt with him. What? He's very strong. I couldn't do anything to him at all. He kidnapped me and took me here to his hideout. Well, I've dealt with him and now we can leave. Oh, that's good. Because I was really scared, actually. He's an incredibly creepy guy, but it's so good that you saved me. Yeah, we're good. We can go home. Okay, Bart, we can get out of here. Yeah, let's hurry. I don't like this place at all. Yeah, but I guess the only problem is that we still have a lot of challenges to go through before we get back. Yeah, man, it's just awful, but it can't be helped. All right, grab the wagon and let's go. Hey, damn it, you took my wagon? Man, I'm gonna have to catch up with you on foot. Well, I'm sorry, it was an accident. Man, you could have at least jumped off the wagon to come with me. There's nothing for me to do. If I get there fast enough, I'll be back. Okay, and damn it, I'm gone. Okay, man, I'm gonna have to come with you. Well, you see, if you hadn't taken my wagon, everything would have been fine. But I didn't know you didn't have a trolley. Uh, well, it wasn't very nice anyway. So how do we get out of here now? I don't know. Just stand over here. Now, how do we get out of here? I don't know, Pomni. We have to figure something out. Okay, and if you want to see the continuation of this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like, and follow this playlist to watch more of our great videos. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching. See you later. Yeah, bye.